Hey, Sagittarius. I was like, should we read Sagittarius? And lo and behold, Sagittarius rolls and the ninth house plus Venus. Goodness gracious. Hope you're well, Sag. Just jumping right in per usual. Who is in Sag's reading today? Or what is the energy? Unexpected energy. All right. Everybody appears to be getting some very like crazy, unexpected shifts, some revelations. Everything is being revealed in the collective. So it does look like there's been a whole bunch of things coming up about people, their relationships, their partners, all this stuff. Plus retrograde energies could have activated this or is activating this. Okay. Finances, money problems, work, material things, and success. Someone's having a shift, an unusual shift with money and it is hidden. Why is that? We have conceal, disguise, lying. All right. We're Sag in the energy. What's this? Heartbreak. What, we're Sag in the energy? This is, yeah, someone doesn't believe it. It's like, there's no way. Fear. Okay, I'm seeing something about Disneyland or Mickey Mouse. This could be a message for someone. Anxiety. Why is Sag in this? Okay, this looks kind of like the Virgo reading. Everybody's getting this today. Afraid, uneasy, suspicion, and scared. What's wrong, Sag? So here's the deal too, because you have this stress, dependent, depression, panic attacks, restless energy with the anxiety card, but it's being released, needing to be released. There's patience being imposed on the situation. It's quite uncomfortable, but it looks like it needs to happen right now. So there's a waiting period. It's like waiting or it feels like waiting in line. There's fear to let go. There's fear to jump all the way in. All kinds of things. Okay, so what is the dynamic? Yeah, because afraid, uneasy, suspicion. There's a suspicious energy around. Why so suspicious, everybody? Show me the person, uh, the dynamic between Saj and unexpected. Yeah, I feel like someone's actually very surprised about the way that you're behaving as well or your mood. I am too. So crossroads. Choice, multiple options, turning point, indecisive. Like you could be acting brand new. Like this isn't who you are, or this could be someone else's energy that's projected onto you. Addiction, toxic attachment, drugs, alcohol, obsession. Okay, yeah. Are you going to choose the problematic energy or are you going to choose the easier energy? Because I feel like maybe they go hand in hand. Uh oh. Multiple choice. Who's this in Sag's reading? Uh, fifth house, Taurus and the sun. Wow. Damn. Okay, well, this person could have kids, wants kids, wants a big family, has a big family. Let's get that out of the way because they're coming in with fifth house energy toward you. They're realizing some desires of the flesh, my dear to work with you, to create with you. There's a feeling space. Why is this causing you stress though? So five of swords, maybe that's why. So show me this person. Ace of pentacles, damn. Penny for your thoughts. <laughs> that's what it looks. Why is the person coming at ace of pentacles? Queen of Pentacles. All right. So I'm getting that this person's coming in to communicate with you. They do have an offer. They're very curious about whether you're going to accept this. Whatever they are giving you or what they're saying to you, they've put a lot of thought, effort, merit into it. Like they've really put a lot of thought into this. You could even be hearing from someone and they're like, hey, Sag, like I've had this for a long time. It's a hand-me-down. It's an heirloom. I want you to have it. Like it almost feels that serious. Like this person is giving you something that is very meaningful to them. It's like, wow, I really love this, but it's not for me anymore. I got to give it to Sag. I'm going to pass it to Sag now. 
here, you can have this. It's kind of like that. It could be, um, I'm hearing a plea. Why are they in unexpected though? Oh, all right, yeah, me too with that, that, that man's hogger. All right, so four of cups. Okay, something feels unrequited. Uh-oh. They're very concerned that you're not going to return the sentiment. Okay, so you have someone new coming in or it's a new offer. Like, they feel very strongly towards you. It's a huge attraction. It's, hey, if I give you this, will it be meaningful to you? And it's like a fear that it's not or this could even come true. Um, all right, show me Sag in the energy. I'm seeing that someone's shoulder feels weird or someone's shoulders like pulled or someone slept wrong, worked out, tore something. I don't know. It just feels like it's kind of sore. Okay. So the sun. Okay. You love your child or someone loves their child a lot. Why is Sag five of wands? Lots of Leo. Lot, I just saw three energies of Leo. Leo is heavy in your energy, on your mind, all around you. This Leo is all encompassing. They're all over the place with you, okay? But the person coming in is an earth energy. They want to give you an expression, something meaningful. Yeah, this is your fifth house. So at home, you have a bunch of people running around, a lot of noise, a lot of commotion. This could be like a lot of pets and they're kind of teasing, fighting or something like that. Or this could be children in your home. They're just running around being rambunctious. A lot of commotion in your energy. I'm also getting there's like a Leo. I'm also getting blood sugar. or diabetes or something like that. Okay. Like someone is hungry or feels this way. So what is the concern? So I feel like you're just getting ready to let go. You have an offer coming in. It looks like a lot of fun, but you can feel conflicted because you've been doing something and now you feel like there's a commotion or a distraction or it will cause drama to your home, to your family. How this person, okay, no wonder you, show me the dynamic here with that crossroads. What's this? Yeah, that Leo was blocking you. Damn, oh my gosh. Sagittarius. Or this is you, okay, because I see a person coming in and this Leo is freaking blocking you. You may feel cock blocked by a Leo in your life. This person's like, hey, 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 what are you looking at? Look at me. Where are your eyes looking? Look at me. Or something like that. That's what it feels like. This person is very straight up with you. Just like no chasers. Like Sagittarius, look at me in my eyes. For real. This person is intense. Then maybe they, they like intensity. They want you to go shoulder to shoulder. Like, like stand up straight in front of me. Something like that. <laughs> I just feel so much intensity here. So there's a secret. What is this secret? So if someone doesn't know about this, wait a minute. Someone doesn't know about this Leo and this Leo's like, oh, hell no, I'm here. Look at me, Sagittarius. Don't look at that earth sign. Don't take, don't take that offer. Do not accept that money or payment. Don't accept this love offer. Look at me like very possessive energy. Someone wants children or they're going to lock it down like this. Maybe there are already children because there's a lot of commotion here, like several kids, but they want more or something like this. But more and more kids, more and more kids is like, yeah, I can't have enough kids, like something like that. <laughs> it's like almost a handful of kids. 
what what's a gaggle do you guys know what a gaggle is i can't remember it's like a group of animal i can't remember what it is someone wants a new litter of kids like they have kids with one person and then they want a new litter with somebody else or something like that. that's what this feels like all right all right all right let's get into this here what is this friggin leo doing what what damn damn sagittarius what are you gonna do no wonder you have this anxiety okay someone's telling you it's me or me and if you want to talk to that earth sign you have to go through me so if you have an, a fire sign it's a leo or something some type of fire sign they are very bold they are very straight up they are they just are and if you have someone hitting you up for anything they want to answer them not you they're like just in case you think that you're going to talk to that person you're not because i am i'm going to address them for you sagittarius you can't talk to them i'm the middle man here or i'm the middle woman like this person is like that <laughs> okay i don't know what i don't okay because this is toxic attachment energy with the addiction now i'm not trying to tell you what type of this or that is toxic i'm sure you know you know your situation but this card is talking about someone first of all again you have a, a problem coming in this is there's some drama that's what this feels like like some sort of drama coming through this person is gonna go hip to hip with you everywhere you go you're walking with them they're not gonna let you out of their sight nope i'm they're like supervising you like a child or it may feel this way damn i hope this isn't like bad okay i really do i mean you never know who's watching so please talk to someone if that's the case how does how does uh this this queen of pentacles okay damn i can't believe this much you know what i don't even remember a reading coming out like this at all sagittarius this is wild how this person sees sagittarius Okay, someone's like being pressured or threatened. Or you guys are threatening someone? Who the heck feels like they need to handle your relationships for you? Someone is, um, it's a, it's a bit much, okay? Someone, someone's doing too much, yeah. Why do they see Sag with this Knight of Swords? nine of swords again who is this Sagittarius they they are they feel like they're on the receiving end of some type of dramatic explosive energy or that someone's being hounded it could even be them because I'm asking like where they are they're in the nine of wands which is actually your energy too but this person feels like they're just trying to stand still or stand up straight or they're getting like some sort of a beating for nothing like they're just chilling or they're hanging out and someone's cussing them out or calling them names or something or there's like an aggressive response okay how does Sag you see this ace of pentacles person you see them with the yeah you feel like they're worn out burnt out you know ten of wands too much stuff is going on here they're about to break from it yeah they are what's going on why you feel like or maybe they bring this to you unknowingly hopefully how does sag see them with the ten of wands why because of the knight of cups the seven of wands okay so a person's coming with an offer but they're being put through hell to even get to you or to even like give you this offer offer or to tell you that they care or to tell you that they love you this person is trying to stay calm under pressure like they're being pressured a lot you could be too so this is all because a person is afraid to lose someone and they're doing something overboard or this is overkill what does this person feel about sad 
Yeah, they feel the freaking lovers. This person has feelings for you. They feel very strongly about you and their connection with this freaking strength card. But they feel like you're a Leo or the Leo speaking for you or you're speaking for a Leo. Something like that. Yeah, it's like you're being overridden. Like this is like override, override. Someone is, wow, this the father and the freaking strength. Someone is trying to rile this person up, get them involved in drama with two other people, but they're not, they're not taking the bait. They're not going to fight about another partner or an ex. They're not going to fight about some petty stuff that people are acting rambunctious about. It's like a reckless kind of thing. How does Saj feel about this person? I see this person reading their phone. It's like they're getting text messages, cussing them out. It's like, man, I was just trying to show you I cared. Why do you have to turn it into an argument? Or like they reach out to you and then someone, this Leo reaches out to them. is like, F you, stay away from my so-and-so. You know, like berating them or telling them, wow, what the heck? Where's um, Sagittarius? How Sagittarius feel about this? You have the nine of cups. How Sag feel? Knight of wands. How does Sag feel about this earth sign person or this queen of pentacles energy? Magician. What? You feel like this is your person? And then you guys are acting like devil card together? Or that's what this is? This is an addictive energy. So you feel connected to them. You feel like you guys have some sort of a shot or a relationship. Then who the hell is causing this problem? You feel attached to them. You feel some sort of like anger because or someone does. It's like they're not allowed to be calm or they're not allowed to be at ease. What the heck? What is out of whack here, please, besides what I've said? Ten of Cups. Wow, someone is, um, so justice. Someone could be in trouble legally or they have potential to be in trouble legally big time just because of this scenario, it seems like. So yeah, something could be, someone's like lawless or they think they can act a certain way. Because here's the Eight of Swords, it's like a person is not happy, but they can't be freed. So it's like a person's a prisoner in their own home or in their family. Not seeing a way out, no solution, this kind of thing. Not allowed to even breathe. Okay, the hell is going on today? What does this person want with Sag? What does this person really want with Sag? Knight of Pentacles. So this person is just hanging out, Sagittarius. What's the problem? What is it? Why is why is this person triggering this whole situation so badly? Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, because Queen of Cups, because they can't be affected or something. Like someone could be trying to trigger trigger them, Psh. trigger them. Eleventh House. It's like they maintain their center or their composure because they're not too connected. That's why. Like, yeah, they care, but maybe not that much to be involved or to go at it with these two. But this is also like someone's being very territorial. It's almost like someone was just trying to be nice or be sweet. Huh. A person wants them to like move, or go out of town, go somewhere else, give up on this relationship, leave the family alone, that type of thing. What does Saj want with this person over here? So you've got the star card and the hangman. Ace of swords, wow. So you know there needs to be some sort of a choice or someone needs to make a choice. It's either fire or earth is what it looks like. Or this earth sign has water. 
like earth and water energy, water energy, earth energy, lots of earth. This person, person is just steady. I don't know. They don't, they're not reactive like the other people in the reading. <laughs> um, it's like they don't want to be drawn into that either. If they're they're staying neutral even if they f they care or they have feelings for someone see because this is all unexpected to them they come in and then all of a sudden they're being berated it's like man i'll, I'll just go over here then they're like what's the issue i see you needing to tell them something as well Okay, the King of Cups. That's the thing. You feel you feel drawn to someone. You feel very drawn to a person. But there has to be some sort of a choice. And, and someone's getting ghosted. So this could be that the Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo person or a, a water sign person. Or maybe you want them to choose, okay? But you have somebody else too. Damn, dude. Okay. So the devil again, the nine of cups. Yeah. Someone is um someone wants to be alone. They want to be on their own with the devil, the nine of cups, and the freaking I can't show you all that. Wow, did I just do that? And the nine of pentacles. This is someone who's like, I have what I need by myself. I can have my cake and eat it too. I eat when I want, I wake up when I want, shower when I want, like all this kind of stuff. And I don't have anybody to tell me anything or otherwise. I can indulge if I want to. I can drink, I can eat, I can laugh, I can this and that. Like someone will not give this up. They're not gonna give it up. There's some sort of indulgent behavior, addictive thing or addictive behavior that makes someone happy, gleeful, makes them feel good. This could also be that someone really likes, like, I don't know, this addiction card, some sort of addictive element, toxic attachment, okay? Obsession, drugs, alcohol. It could be that, you know, someone's really into that and they're not gonna stop. Like, this is what they wanna be doing, okay? And I see that here. So death card, this is gonna cause an end of a relationship. What is this anxiety? Oh, okay. Because I feel like you really... Maybe this is what bothers you. You may feel like you actually care about someone or you want to get along with them, but you guys can't meet in the middle. Or, you know, you guys are never calm at the same time. Maybe it bothers you when someone's calm or sitting there. Or that's how you feel that someone won't let you like rest or let you sleep. They would rather. Someone has two, two personalities that they keep going back and forth with or from. Why does Sag have this stress depression? Because of a king of cups. Yeah, I feel like you're worried about this water sign because yeah, ace of pentacle, that's who this is. So king and queen of cups, you have feelings for someone. So you're afraid that someone's moving on or someone's afraid that you're moving on. That's why they're doing this. Causing drama. Two of Pentacles. Someone, someone is getting um, kicked out of the equation because there's a family thing or a marriage or something like that. Or kids or, you know. Let me get you some advice. Oh, God. Let's read it. What is advice for Saj regarding this or otherwise? Or what does Saj need to know? judgment okay so there's that queen of pentacles three of cups okay what what like king of cups three of so you're you're meant to know that you can reconcile with someone so we have scorpio cancer and then earth sign energy Okay, so you need to know that you can revive a relationship with love, with empathy, with connection. That you guys could start fresh or start over or, you know, you could be friends with this person. You guys can get along. It'll go well. The, I don't understand why this is 
nine of cups. Yeah, something is what you want. Like you actually want this connection or you somebody does, somebody wants love. But that's not what they're getting. Yeah, the ace of pentacles is showing up. Where was that? It just popped out again. Yeah. Okay. Why is Sav needs to know this? This is like cultivate good relationships, good communication so that people can be happy or, you know, in a good mood. Nine of wands, the moon. Yeah. Someone needs to snap out of something like, I don't know if someone's like paranoid. A person may need to distance themselves. Like someone's being offered the star, okay? Like connection here with the three of cups is being offered judgment and the star is like a connection. A strong one, something that is above and beyond just regular friendships or relationships with people like it's above and beyond but a person feels like that's not good enough or they don't like the easy flowing energy so i feel like someone is addicted to chaos did this come up in your last reading whose reading was that i don't know whose reading that was yeah, someone doesn't like it easy. They don't want to admit that they love someone. It's a secret. They don't want to admit that they care. They rather be abrasive or walk on eggshells. All right. Anyway. Okay. This could be chosen against at any moment is what it says here. So uh, can I get energy for Saj? Will be beneficial, supportive to Saj regarding this or otherwise? Your hard work is paying off time for healing. Yeah. So you, this is healing, healing some sort of toxic attachment or healing from substances, whatever this is like a person doesn't want to be clean or go clean. And this could even be from a relationship. Like someone could be a little bit addicted to well, toxicity in a relationship or relationships in general, something like that. Okay. Your hard work is paying off Sagittarius. So something's going to take some hard work or it's a major choice. It's a major decision. Nothing is yet set in stone. Can I get some energy for Sag to focus on? Don't let your past hold you back and conclusions are within reach. Show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. All right. Yeah, someone keeps living out some, I don't know, like a, some fears and anxieties, but is choosing against the healing. So it's saying to not let your past hold you back. Yeah, the fear and anxieties here, like someone could just let go or be patient or kind, but that's too difficult for someone to do because maybe they're not healed or they're not could even be sober something is off Sagittarius don't let your past hold you back conclusions are within reach that's what I'm saying like someone just has to reach for it like don't be the past version or don't revert into bad patterns habits routines bad addictive behaviors or vices like be authentic maybe somebody's afraid of vulnerability too like afraid of going with the flow or being vulnerable or something. Thank you, Saj. Check out the place and see you next time.